morning, Graham Rollins with News Geelong. The Geelong community is deeply saddened at the passing of our own football legend, the Geelong Flyer, Bob Davis, in the early hours of yesterday morning. The 36th annual Geelong Antique Fair held last weekend saw great displays of antique furniture, jewellery, linen and lace with over 40 dealers from all over the country on display. And later in the program, the Flying Hawk Nathan Curry brings us Geelong Sport and sparkling Lani Salathiel will update us with the Geelong weather. An outstanding person and contributor to the Geelong Football Club and the game of Aussie Rules Football. As a player, coach and media personality, Bob Davis passed away in the early hours of Tuesday morning. Nathan Curry takes up the story. Dear old Bobby Davis. Well, he was just looking for anyone to have an argument with. It didn't matter who it was or what sport they were from. And then there was Sam, usually seen scurrying away like a little squirrel before winter with his goodies and hiding them just outside the studio. Now I assume it's a very difficult time for the club with the death of Bob Davis. How's the club feeling at the moment? Yeah, it's a, it's a horribly um, difficult situation for everyone at the club. Bob Davis was a legend of the club and it's uh, all the more disappointing for me that I never got the chance to spend much time with him. Everyone speaks really highly of not only his involvement and um, contribution to the club as a player and coach, but you know the, the time he spent at the club um, when his official duties had, had ended. Um, yeah, it's just a really sad day. It actually hit the players reasonably hard. As I said, Bob spent a lot of time at the club, I'm led to believe, and, and got to know the players quite well on a personal level. So, um, I mean, I'm really loath to say that, that it'll change the way the players play this week, but it will be in all Geelong people's minds for, for this week and weeks to come. Yeah, that's a pretty good description, really. I mean, as I said, I, I didn't know Bob personally, and I feel sadder for that, um, but yeah. Bob Davis is synonymous with Geelong. Welcome, and to all you Geelong Football Club supporters who had a marvellous season in 2007, we're going to show you something even better now in 2008. About a month ago, the Geelong Football Club showed some great initiative, and we had a reunion of every living premiership player who has ever played for Geelong. There are 56 still left, of which 48 attended to the pivots room down at the ground on January the 15th. It was a great, it was just a fantastic reunion. There were, of course, the 2007 team. I think there were 17 from 1963, and there were 17 from the teams of 51 and 52. And this is a great record of what we did on that day. We're joined with our Mayor Councillor John Mitchell and just a, a very a amazing man in our football fraternity has passed away. Can you tell us your thoughts? Oh yeah, look it's very, very uh, a sad day for Geelong, not only the football club but uh, the people of Geelong. Ge no, Bob Davis was a was a, a bigger than life identity, you know, um, not only through his playing football but all his years on World of Sport. Very generous man, very giving man, of his, very, very uh, easy to get hold of uh, and who would forget that photo of Bob? Uh, you know, streaming down the field with the ball tucked under his arm. Uh, you know, the Geelong Flyer, and uh, you know, Geelong is um, is is uh, very very saddened by uh, Bob's passing. So we'd just like to uh, pass on our condolences to uh, to his family. And uh, you know, great man, great man. Thank you, Nathan. Rest in peace, Robert Woofer Davis. Victoria's Environment Protection Authority and the City of Greater Geelong have joined other key partners in the sustainability covenant to assist Geelong as it moves towards developing a low carbon economy. Meryl Friend reports. We're here at Cunningham Pier for the launch of the low carbon growth plan for Geelong and at the same time they're signing a sustainability covenant to future proof Geelong. And we're joined with Professor John Thwaites, who is the Chair of Climate Works Australia. Professor, can you tell us a little bit about what Climate Works actually do? 
Climate Works is a partnership between Monash University and the Maya Foundation and we hope to help uh, businesses and communities reduce their carbon pollution, their carbon emissions and we do that by working often behind the scenes, uh, working with businesses, coming up with ideas on how energy efficient, for example, could save them uh, on their electricity bills but also reduce carbon pollution. The findings show that for Geelong, for example, we could uh, save about 1.3 million tonnes of carbon pollution every year. And not only that, we'd actually make money from it because our electricity bills would be lower, our operating costs would be lower, and we'd be doing something good for the environment. And we're joined with our Mayor, Councillor John Mitchell, incredibly significant today for Geelong with the launch of the Low Carbon Growth Plan, which is the first in Australia. It certainly is. Uh, Beryl Future Proofing Geelong, which is the name of the, uh, of the uh, plan, uh, is certainly the first in Australia. Uh, it's certainly the first, uh, maybe the first in the world regionally, uh, for us to put forward uh, an opportunity to, uh, to talk about sustainability and, uh, and, and, and have a low gro carbon growth plan um, is uh, a really exciting time for Geelong. You've been working very hard towards this over the last 15 months and you were able to go over to Copenhagen. What did you find there? In a sense, since uh, being overseas from Copenhagen, it's really that uh, industry, that business, uh, really the bottom line, people uh, you know, being able to save money. Um, not only will we be saving money through this work that we've done, but obviously we're saving greenhouse emissions. So um, although my own personal values would be that we need to see it as an environmental or social issue, at the end of the day we're getting traction with regard to it as being an economic. So I'm happy with it either way. But, um, but that's where we're getting the traction, so I'm happy to go with that. From Cunningham Pier, Merrill Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Merrill. The quaint seaside township of St Leonard's is seeing change begin as a series of streets and laneways known and used throughout the township have been given new names. Blake Freeman reports. I'm here at City Hall to speak with Councillor Dool about the names for the new laneways at St Leonard's. Um, recently at a council uh, meeting, a decision was made to uh, name two lanes in St Leonard's, uh, Diver Dan Lane and uh, Della Bosca Lane. Okay, and what are the significance of the chosen names? Um, both uh, St Leonard's, where the, uh, the two lanes are to be named, and also Barwon Heads, um, also within the city of Greater Geelong, uh, were part of that wonderful uh, TV series done by the ABC. Um, on Sea Change, uh, starring, starring Igrid, uh, Sigrid Thornton and uh, David Wenham. So uh, the names have been created from that uh, with the, um, the re reference to uh, St Leonard's for that reason. Um, so I'm quite comfortable with the fact that we've chosen uh, names that have been associated with St Leonard's through the, the uh, Sea Change uh, series. Reports that come to council are quite serious in whether it's budgets or work on climate change or planning issues. So. Um, obviously this is a little bit more light-hearted than what we normally see, but councillors have approved that and, um, yeah, so, again, I think it's a good thing. Blake Freeman at City Hall, News Geelong. Thank you, Blake. This is News Geelong. Let's we go to a break and return with more news after this.